Hey friends, how's it going? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to pick up your guitar and play Norwegian Wood by the Beatles. This is a really fun one to play. Um, you only need about four chords, but there's this nice little acoustic riff you have in the intro, and you can use it in the verse. It's a little bit hard to get over that initial hump, but once you do, you can sort of get rolling with this one a lot faster than it might seem possible. So I'm gonna show you how to learn that riff, and I'll show you how to use the other chords and strum your way through the verse and the choruses and everything else you'll need, okay? So with that, let's get to it. As always, check out the website playsongnotes.com where you can find my notes and my tabs for this song. So if you want to access them or maybe print them out outside of this video, you can do that. So playsongnotes.com, check it out. And with that said, let's get to this lesson, okay? So we're going to be in standard tuning and we're going to be having a capo on the second fret. Okay, that's going to let you play along with the Beatles version of this song. If you don't have a capo, you don't need to have one here. Just know you won't be able to play along with me or the Beatles. So just the heads up there. But first up, we're going to look at this sort of intro uh, riff, and it's also used during the verse. So you need this for, for most of the song. This is really the hardest part of the song. But again, I'm going to sort of break it down for you and make it easy. Okay, so the first thing you want to know is a D major chord is our sort of bass, right? So that's open, second, third, second. Okay, that's sort of where we start and where we end. Just get comfortable with that. The first thing I really want to teach with this is a strum, okay? So down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. Okay, and this is important because all the riffy stuff I'm going to teach you, and I'll show you the tab and everything, that's sort of gonna be interspersed within this strum, right? The strum is sort of the foundation for this. So basically I want you to have that. And what I like to do with this is basically pluck the bass note and then a down, up, down, up. One, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and. And you really could use this to sort of sing if you wanted to ignore the riff altogether, right? I once had a girl, or should I say, she once had me. Okay, I did a little switch to a C there, right? Third, second, open, first, open. I'm gonna get to that in a bit when I teach you the riff. But basically, start with that strumming sort of foundation, okay? And then let's look at how these sort of riff notes will come into play. Okay, so the first sequence we're gonna have here is basically... All right, so again. I'm going to talk about what's going on there. Basically, we're going to start with that D major, and then the first sort of note we have to play with our pinky is this fourth fret of the third string. And you want to get good and familiar and able to sort of put that fourth fret down and then take it off, right? And if it's tricky, sort of my advice is sort of angle your hand so it's a bit more like this as opposed to like this, okay? So we're sort of almost like you're uh, more parallel to the, the sort of fretboard and the neck of the guitar. And then basically, the next thing we want to do is get good at taking our index finger off of that second fret of the third string. Okay? I recommend that phrase first, so that's a sort of real life phrase. In real life, and that, that's what you hear in the song, right? And then finally, we have this sort of ending note to this phrase, which is the fourth fret of the fourth string. So, again. And the tricky part about this, I find, is that basically, in addition to the, the pinky stretch, you're going to taking off your index finger for that note, and then you're going to want to put your, your pinky down here, but also this finger down because you're going to be strumming, okay? And you're putting them down at the same time. And that's kind of tricky a little bit because basically, you know, it's, it's like you're landing with two feet and one foot has to go here and one foot has to go there. You kind of have to learn to focus on both if that makes sense, right? So that's going to be a tricky part, but take it slow. And basically, if you take that strum, We combine this riff so 
So when we're doing the sort of main part of the riff phrase, we kind of don't want to be doing the strummy strummy, but we do the strummy first. And after, okay? So practice that, isolate it, do it over and again, do it slow. And that's the first part. So for the next part of the riff, we want to start in a D position, but basically have our pinky down on the F sharp note here, okay? This is where we'll be coming from the first phrase. And this is what our goal is basically to move our index finger to the second fret of the fourth string. And that means we have to pick our pinky up off, play the open third string, and then put our pinky back down. Okay, so. So again, we're coming from this. It's a lot of putting fingers down and then taking them off and then putting them down the same spot again, okay? That's a little bit of a tricky part, but again, I recommend you practice the sort of, understand the strumminess. And then focus on the riff by itself next. And after that riff, we do more strummy, so the whole thing. Okay? That's the second part. And the third one is... This one I find easier because you're in a familiar like C major position. Fifth string, third fret, jump two strings up to that third string, which is open, and then second fret of the fifth string. And then to an open fifth string. Okay, so... So, whole thing. And the last thing I'll say about that final C phrase is if you can, start it off with an open fifth string, okay? But to do this, you have to sort of cut the previous strumming section short. So that would be. That's an optional note, but you can sort of add it in there if you want to get really authentic with it. So that's going to be your intro riff, and then that would be used in basically the verse as well, right? You could sing. I once had a girl, oh should I say, she once had me. She showed me her room, isn't it good, Norwegian wood. Okay, now let's look at the rest of the song. Other chords we're going to need are a D minor, so that's open, second, third, first. Okay, we'll also need a G, third, second, open, 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 third. Then we'll need an E minor. And then we'll need an A7. Now, strumming. Down, down, up, down, up, 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 one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and one, two, and three, and... And looking at the chorus, that would be... She asked me to stay, and she told me to sit in the way. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, 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 down, all right, so basically that is the um, chorus of the song and the rest is just that riff. So with that, you have the entire song. Now the final points I would say with practicing this riff to go back to it is as you understand what you have to play, 
right? That's one part of, le of learning something is you understand, like, here's what's being asked of me, and I, I technically understand where the fingers have to go. The next part, though, is like training the fingers to do it, and that can take a lot of time. So don't think it happens just immediately. What I sort of did when learning this was sort of take one phrase or two phrases of this um, intro riff and just isolated them and just sort of made that my thing for maybe 10 minutes. I would just do the first phrase, right? Repeat it. Right, you know, but take it slow, change up the strumming, just get good at doing it. Then maybe next time pick up the second phrase. And the idea is you do this session after session, and it could just be five or ten minute sessions throughout the day, a couple days a week. You will get there, okay? Like, don't think of it as just, I practiced this once 45 minutes, uh, and I get it from scratch. Like, it doesn't work that way. It takes a lot of time. You gotta let it sink in, okay? So, this has been David Potts with Song Notes. Thank you very much for watching this lesson. Let me know how you liked it. If you have any questions, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you want to hear more about lessons. And make sure you check out my website, playsongnotes.com, where you can find the notes and tabs, like I said before. And I have plenty of other songs. I want to do a lot more Beatles, though, so let me know what songs you want to hear. Thank you very much for watching, y'all, and uh, have a great night. Remember, I want you to pick up that guitar and play. Bye-bye.